Do any of these groupies ever write you letters? Disturbing letters? Oh, all my fan mail is disturbing. It's an occupational hazard. Because sometimes in cases like this, we find that the killer, killer attempts, attempts to... to contact the subject of his obsession. How long were you working for the Bollinger campaign, Mr. Kirby? Oh, a couple of weeks, but it was a fun one. Mr. Family Values tells his wife that he's going to work late, probably crash at the office. 20 minutes later, he is <clears throat> polling his constituency. What about the girl? Oh, well, I could see she was worth every cent. She was a pro. You don't think with a body like that, she's going to swoon over his thumb speeches, do you? Makes you wonder what else he had a taste for. And what it led to. Do you have an address? Let's say the doorman's right. Melanie gets home about 4 o'clock. She'd have to make dinner for the kids. Then Sam comes home. Baker's hours, around 6 o'clock. Figure kids have already eaten. So they're what? Um, watching TV in the bedroom. In my bedroom? Shh, we're on a roll. They have a fight. About the affair. About Philadelphia. Things get heated. And she turns her head. He whacks her with something. A pot. Or a pan. Bam, fractures her skull. It's over. Except the kids are still in the bedroom. He's got to figure out a way of getting her out of the apartment without them seeing it. Hallway bathroom. You need it to buy time. Okay, so he um, he puts the body in the tub, closes Wait. the door, and tells the kids that mom went to the store. Which, according to the case file, the doorman was never able to substantiate. Okay, so no car. How does he get the body out of the apartment? Maybe he hailed the cab. Yeah, maybe the cabbie and the doorman helped him stuff the body in the trunk. How much do you tip for that these days? The doorman. Castle, I'm joking. What if the body was already in the freezer when he took it out of the apartment? Freezer? He'd have needed a truck. In my building, if you have something picked up or delivered, you have to sign for it. Yeah, here too. Delivery that big, you have to sign the ledger. The ledger? The doorman's ledger downstairs. We're looking for a yoga studio nearby where the class ended about 3 o'clock. Maybe the woman was on her way to yoga class. You ever tried doing a half moon pose cranked up on caffeine? Completely throws off your chi. Trust me, she bought her coffee after class. Class finishing around 3 p.m. will give her enough time to buy a coffee. But not enough time to finish it before Canal Street. Got it. <laughs>